Hello, this is Mike. In this brief screencast, I want to think about not what social media are, but what they're for. I want to link this to changes in the way people and businesses communicate. And I want to suggest that what social media are really all about is creating a conversational business environment. And I want to also end by highlighting a very straightforward little tool, the Conversation Prism, that can help an organization map out its interactions through media. So let's just think about what it means to communicate, and in particular within a business context. A key argument of mine is that social media platforms are not new in terms of their business purpose and use. Going way back to the 17th century, the coffee houses of London are a good example of social networking. Merchants and traders came together, they networked, and they did business. And they did business largely by talking. During the broadcast media media, television and radio changed all that, and we got a much more mass market message being sent out by advertisers and much more passive recipients who may or may not attend to the most messages. The social networking platforms associated with Web2 technologies have simply taken us back to this era of doing business by talking. It's the return of the social, it's the return of what I like to think of as the conversational business model. Now, what we've seen here is a rapid change in the way communications are structured. One-to-one -one linear communications between a couple of individuals or a small group were very much the norm in the coffee houses of the 17th century. Later, print and broadcast media took us to an era where advertisers simply pushed messages at mar large audiences who were predominantly passive. A one communicating to many approach. Web2 has moved us back to an era of network communication. Global one, but it's still like the coffee houses. And what we've got now are many to many communications going on. A bit like lots of people sitting around different tables in the coffee house and then dipping in and out of each other's conversations across tables. That's all it is. So we move from one to one, through one to many, to a many to many global conversational business model. This conversational environment is quite unique in that technology makes it rapid and global. So it's traditional, but it's also very, very different. Web2 are the technologies that surround these networked communications. They enable individuals and organizations to converse, to share experiences and views, to disseminate information, to publish, and to publish interactive content. Different types of conversations might take place through different channels, but they're all connected to each other, just as the platforms can be. And really, doing business in a conversational way means we need to identify and participate in relevant conversations and navigate our way through them. For this, we need a map. People don't just use social media. Please remember this. We largely live in it. From getting up on a morning to going to bed, we're interacting with others. And whether synchronous or asynchronous, engaging in near constant conversation. Organizations can't ignore them. You know, I often hear companies who don't want to go on a social media channel because they're worried about what people might say. Let me tell you, they'll be talking about your organization, whether you like it or not. So you might as well join and influence the conversation rather than being left out. This isn't a fad. It's not a threat to business. It's a return to the traditional way of doing business. 
a conversational way of doing business. And we need to manage it in a strategic way. The conversation prism is a tool to help us navigate. It's a map through the social media environment that organizations can use. It was first designed by Solis and Thomas about four or five years ago. This is its latest iteration. You, the organization, is at the center. What we have emanating for it are strategic values and objectives. So communicating the organization's business or sense of purpose, for instance. And it radiates out to the different channels and what elements of, of organization's activities they're best suited towards. If we just take a quick cross section and you look roughly at, I don't know, mid midnight to 1 a.m. on this clock, what we've got is ourselves at the center and we want to communicate a vision. Radiating out from the center, we can use networks to communicate our brand. In the spoke of the wheel, you see the different channels, Facebook, Bebo, Blogger, Typepad, and so on. And round the edge, we see social networks and microblogs are the optimal channels to communicate a vision about our brand. The prism is as simple as that. There are lots of tools, um, but this is a particularly useful one because it's straightforward. Most people can use it and it's supported by an excellent website. So explore the conversation prism, download it, visit the website. It's a tool you can begin to use to be more strategic in your conversational art. And really, that's what the whole point of social media in a strategic way is. It's about doing business through conversation and being strategic about it. It fits changes in the communications that will surround us. It creates a potentially unique, at least in terms of reach, conversational environment. And there are tools, but Conversation Prism is just one of them that can help us navigate that environment. Thank you.